Yeah, good afternoon. You know, we've been committed and relentless in our coverage of this issue, visiting every single vacant DPS school, including this one, Chandler Elementary. I mean, this is unacceptable. It's unbelievable. I mean, take a look. They walked away, closed the doors, and left school books behind. This is shameful. But today, finally, there is a proposal on the table to rid communities of this blight. After receiving countless complaints from neighbors about the decaying condition of vacant DPS buildings, Action News set out to see how bad the problem really was. In May, our team visited nearly 80 vacant schools. What we discovered went beyond shocking. It was negligent. School after school sitting wide open to trespassers, the precious metal stolen, books and other supplies left behind, old homework papers scattered throughout. The city of Detroit and the Detroit Public School District is now working together to take care of the problem. The deal looks like this. DPS will transfer to the city of Detroit 77 DPS owned properties worth about $11.6 million. In exchange, the city of Detroit will forgive $11.6 million of DPS debt, primarily in electric bills. 10 of the open and most dangerous structures will be removed by July 2015. And so, so far, the school district has gotten an F for how they've handled closing these schools. But if this plan works, I'll tell you what, I may be ready to bump them up to a big old A. Of course, there's a lot more to this plan. And where is the money coming from? We'll talk about more of that coming up at 5 o'clock. For now, we are live on the city's east side. Back to you.